Hello there ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests, Tyrone here, aka TyRizzleD over on Twitch.tv. I hope you're all doing exceptionally well during these unprecedented times. Mm -hmm. This first video will be part of a series of permadeath runs that I plan on doing on this channel. And this is pretty much a straight upload of the entire first stream that I did of Borderlands 3. I make a start with my first character, Moe's, and get the ball rolling with the whole concept of being cautious and methodical with taking fights and my approach to the entire playthrough. As some of you will be aware, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Borderlands 3, the entire franchise has many different ways to kill you dead. Like, there's literally probably about 50 different ways you can die in this game. Being tentative at this particular stage of the game is probably a prudent idea. This happens to be the first upload onto this channel that has some form of basic editing involved. Yes, it is a very basic edit as I get used to the software involved and all the quirks that come with learning a new skill and craft. That is content creation. This channel will also have a secondary purpose, which I will highlight in a future video once I've picked up a few more basic skills and concepts with the software that I'm using. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If this little project and most definitely a very much progressive work in progress interests you in any way, please consider giving this channel a sub, liking or disliking the video down below, and of course commenting and letting me know how I can improve this content for you guys. Thank you very much for your time and effort guys, and I hope you enjoy the video. Right, yeah, so, as the name of the title suggests, we start my perma death runs today. Um, something I've wanted to do for a good while, so, um, yeah, we're going to start off at level 30, you know, it's a bit of a cop out, but the first half of this game is like a tutorial anyway, so, we'll start with this, yeah? Uh, what's the one I want? Instance. I don't, we're ready to do what we can on this absolute fail compilation of a live stream you're all about to witness. There we go. There's some of my permadeath rules, like very general rules, but they're still applicable. Um, obviously, the whole point of a permadeath run is to get to the end game or as far as you can into a game without dying once. In Borderlands case, that obviously means no respawning. Yeah, the reason I put that question up is because obviously Cyberpunk has been released and it's been released in a very conflicting state. Some people find it uh, like the game is very well optimised, but if you're playing the game on console, apparently it's a really bad experience and that's the point I want to raise. Do you mind paying full price for a game that you don't even have to become a beta tester for that game? While they then, when then the game's developers then use you to beta test their game for you then. And then they release a day one patch or a patch a week later to fix the issues. Are you happy paying full price for these games which are like £55 or $60? To essentially be a beta tester for these big companies that are worth... Mm, hundreds of millions, some of them. Some people say it's the root of all evil. Those people are freaking idiots. Money rules, we all know it. How's it going? Handsome Jack here, your best friend. What up, Jack? You know what sucks? Everything, all the time. There's wars, there's pours, and not enough fire in the galaxy to burn it all down. That's why I built my ultimate getaway, the Handsome Jack 5. You're welcome. I, by myself and me alone with no one's help at all, combined Hyperion's most advanced space station engineering with the most opulent casino the galaxy has ever seen. The only thing that's better looking than this place is me, baby, and you're not going to be able to look in any direction without seeing this handsome mug. Spend your money in the lap of luxury, your every whim catered to by our automated staff of robots. Full service. I'm looking at you, robo perverts. Stuff your robo perverts with caviar like you know what that is, and let it hang open in wonder as you behold the greatest live entertainment money can buy. The handsome jackpot. Once you're here, 
you're never going to want to leave. Ha, 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 Jack's ha, dead. Ha. But he left some things behind. I want that casino. Ready to bring down the house, sugar? Oh, yeah. I help. Let's go. Sonic boom! Perfect! <laughs> Sandboard life. Because obviously I've never had a reason to spend points in my channel before, but now we actually have a solid, coherent like reason to spend them, which I think is a good idea. So there you are, Jacob, and anyone else who's listening. That's what the Twitch channel points are for. So you can spend them in chat. It'll give us an idea where chat wants to go with the channel and things like that. And obviously it's just a bit of a laugh and a joke to make funny clips and funny sounds appear on the... Um, on the... Um, on the channel, which is nice. And then the other one, which is more loyalty based, is they're the ones that stream elements give you. And it's based on viewership and subscriptions and things like that. Um, every month, I'm going to do it like a trial month until the end of the month here. But the most loyal viewers, so the one who accumulates the most points. And while we're here, actually, guys, let's do a raffle potentially get yourself some points these ones that we're raffling for now these are the points where it's like loyalty based points and the more of these you have at the end of the month um i beat you to it unfortunately type exclamation mark join that's the one you know the script jacob and then you can do what you do in other chats you can save them you can gamble them you can do all other people for them but the point of it is, at the end of the month, whoever's got the most points, I'm going to give, like... At the beginning, it'll be a very small and simple kind of prize. It'll be, like, maybe a gifted sub, or I will um, get, like, a very... Like, like a £10 Amazon gift voucher, or something like that. And then, for the person who spends the most time in chat, so the most hours, I will guarantee them like a gifted sub to the channel and stuff i've had a bit of a mini overhaul on the stream and i'm gonna have a proper go of trying to grow the channel and make a proper good like go i don't want to it's not going to turn it into my full-time job unless i put like a massive a massive amount of effort into it so the effort starts now going into the new year so the channels have an overhaul there's a new point system in place to give people a reason to stay uh there's um, points you can spend in between chats so you can duel each other for points and things like that and most importantly I think as well I'm staying consistent I will be streaming every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday uh, 8 o'clock in the week and 6 o'clock of a weekend and they, those are the three days that I am absolutely committing to for the stream going into the new year unless I'm on holiday or I'm dying so yeah whereas if i pre-ordered yakuza 7 i would not have regretted it no bad bugs not, not, not at all really and with every update they give the community some small gifts consumers and resource packs yeah i mean i'm assuming there are nice ways to pre-order things i know Gemma, for example pre-ordered stardew valley uh, on her switch and she got a lot of like she got like the collector's edition as well where they gave you like extra uh, you know, extra perks and things like that, which is fine. I don't mind your pre I don't mind pre-ordering games if you want to support a developer, which is kind of what you're doing. What I despise is when that developer takes that trust and then essentially shoves it in your face. Um, it's, like I say, makes you a beta tester for the game and then releases like a day one patch or the first week patch. Imagine they would have done that back in the days before the internet where they couldn't fix these issues. A company would go out of business if they did something like that. Oh, it just it, it, it does it does annoy me how it's becoming more prevalent. Ironically, you don't hear a lot about it on Nintendo games like the Switch. Maybe it just doesn't get as much coverage. But something to something to think about. I like it. I like it a lot. But Jacob, appreciate you being in the channel, man. Thank you very much for your subscription, dude. You know we appreciate it. If you are interested, dude, um, I do have a Discord um, server. Um, if you want, I can send you the link to that. 
Uh, I know you're already in, you're probably in quite a few at the moment anyway. I don't know if you want to get into an extra one, but the you know the option is there for you if you if you would like. So uh, have a think about it, dude. Let me know, and then just give us an old message on a uh, Discord if you want to be put in the uh, server. Right, what we got? A relentless boomer. Bullets are laced with hot sauce. Well, hot damn. Yeah. I'm gonna call it the end of the stream, guys. Like I say, we've made you know it's been a really really nice stream. A couple of regulars have popped in. Started explaining the new systems that are in place for you to have a bit more fun in chat. We got points you can spend, loyalty bonuses for staying around and being active in chat and participating, all that good stuff. No so yeah, we're in, we're in a good place at the moment. Big big. Big pluses for the subs and everything as well, guys. Thank you very much. We hit our 50 target. So we've hit 50 subarinos, which is obviously a mad one. Big respects to Mordecai and Jacob for them. And yeah, very nice. Hopefully we'll take this channel forward, especially going into the new year. And we'll see where we can take things. Also, I want to rest my wrist as my wrist is hurting quite a bit. Hopefully it'll be a bit better going into like the new year.